What's up guys? Today I am going to show on best graphics card in this year. Not everyone is lucky enough to be totally weapons free on budget when it comes to the most important component in a gaming PC. The graphics card. After all, you still need to set some money aside for the best gaming CPU if you want to avoid bottlenecking. That's why picking the best graphics card for your needs is so important. If you can afford an RTX 3080 you still need to make sure your money is well placed in. Hardware that is going to deliver the best performance for your given budget. While the RTX 3080 is the boss of 4K gaming, the GTX 1660 Super and RX 5700 XT are fighting it out for the all-important price performance crown. Both offer fantastic frame rates even when the settings are cranked up to the max, and you won't be left high and dry with either Nvidia or AMD in your system. Looking a little further up the price range in the RTX 2070 Super is the performance king, but the Navi-powered RX 5700 XT runs it mighty close, even if it doesn't have the same sort of AI or ray tracing chops. Please subscribe my channel click the bell and like comment my video, let's go! Number 7. The best cheap graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050T, yeah, that's a 4 year old Pascal card on our list, but hear us out, if you've got a 1080p display and just want to run most recent games at a reasonable frame rate and you don't care about having graphics options anywhere close to maximum, then this graphics card still has lots of life left, it's the perfect card for a bargain basement gaming PC build, and when it comes to titles that are a few years old such as GTA 5 or Fortnite, you'll have no trouble running them at 60 frames per second in 1080p, even without turning everything down to low, Legion playable at 30 frames per second on medium settings. With the game looking similar to how it does on the PS4 and Xbox One, the 4GB of VRAM shouldn't be a problem, considering that you'll only be playing at 1080p with this card anyway. The next is... Number 6. The best graphics card for the tech savvy is the AMD RX 5700, closely behind the 5700 XT, because of the XT's price cut, as this straight RX 5700, it's running the same natty GPU as the XT card, but has been hobbled in terms of clock speed to ensure it remains behind its stronger sibling, however, this card might be a better option than the 5700 XT if you're happy with a little behind the scenes tweaking to overclock and undervolted your GPU. With your GPU unlocked and some carefully fiddling. With the frequencies, the RX 5700 can reach the performance of the RX 5700 XT. The next is. Number 5. The best 1440p graphics card is the AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT. This previous generation 7 nanometers GPU from AMD for around $300 will keep you more than satisfied playing at 1440p, capable of hitting 60 frames per second in pretty much any game and costing less than Nvidia's RTX 2060. It offers a sublime mix of rasterized performance and affordable graphical clout, and that RDNA architecture on 7 nanometers pays off in the power department, too, requiring just 150W. In fact, it's still the graphics card we recommend when building. The best gaming PC for QHD resolution, the mix-up in RX 5600 XT branding is likely in part due to its colossally confusing launch, an updated BBIOS moments prior sent the RX 5600 XT's performance skyrocketing, and only a handful of AIBs appeared to get the memo, all you need to know is to make sure, whichever card you buy, that it's capable of 1750 MHz boost clock and 14 gigabits per second memory the next is. Number 4. The best graphics card for 1080p gaming is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. If you have a 1080p monitor but still want to run the newest games at the highest graphics possible then the GTX 1660 Super fits the bill perfectly, you're getting a card that delivers performance similar to the GTX 1070. It's a great value GPU, and its existence is the main reason AMD's RX 5500 XT isn't on the list since the GTX 1660 Super performs better for only a small extra cost, also just look at how cute and teeny it is, adorable. The next is Number 3 MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 3090 24GB GDRR6X 384-bit HDMI, the most powerful graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, 
NVIDIA's flagship Ampere graphics card is the most powerful consumer GPU in the world right now and is effectively the replacement for their Titan series cards. You only really need this card for content creation or if you have deep pockets and just want the pure bragging rights. With only a small performance increase seen in gaming over the RTX 3080, the 24GB of gddr 6 XBRM is more than double the 10GB we see in the RTX 3080, and if you are one of the few to own an 8K monitor then it may be the GPU to keep in mind the next is. Number 2. The best graphics card under $500 is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. AMD has created a monster of a GPU in the RX 5700 XT. It's a great card that's only just shy of the RTX 2070 Super's gaming performance, but with a decent saving over the 2070 Super's manufacturer suggested retail price, the GeForce GPU has a little more to offer, but it's tight, and the RX 5700 XT is a fair bit cheaper, and should blast through any game at 1440p with over 60 frames per second, with 144 frames per second capable on older titles, this card can be enough to let you dabble in the world of 4K gaming if you don't mind a lower frame rate, hitting averages of 40 frames per second in 4K with most settings on high, including games like Red Dead Redemption 2. The next is Number 1. The best graphics card for gaming is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Sure, the RTX 3090 might be the most powerful GPU you can buy, but if you're looking for gaming chops then anything more than 3080 is frankly unnecessary, just pairing it with the best SSD for gaming will have you first in the lobby and seeing so many pixels, you'll hit shots you couldn't before, the RTX 3080 is Nvidia's second most powerful Ampere card. 4K PC gaming is somewhat affordable when previously you'd need to buy an RTX 2080 T to play the latest titles in 4K. Impressively, the 3080 does this while still having major performance improvements over the previous 4K card from Nvidia. It's also a perfect match if you want 144Hz at 1440p too, so this is the best option for you to buy. Thank for watching this video, please like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.